Vincent, thank you so much for joining us here at Empire 2024. Many conversations at the event already around that thorny issue of growth, something political and business leaders are focused on. And obviously, as someone working in that kind of strategy and expansion space, where would you say you're looking for opportunity in this environment? Well, first of all, thanks, Emma, for welcoming me. Uh, on your question, as you probably know, at Euroclear, we have a big ambition on defence because as we speak during those two days, there is many opportunities and challenges for the uh, defence industry. I think that there is still a global demand for, for the investors, but there is growing pressure on the cost and there is growing complexity to operate uh, the different products that all the asset managers are being developed. So in that regard, I think there is a, a need for, uh, for the market and uh, to benefit from kind of platform solution that we at Euroclear uh, aims to offer. So how do you see different fund asset classes sort of evolving in, in the next period? Yeah, so definitely, as I mentioned, uh, we do expect to see a global growth at steady pace within the funds industry. Uh, for mainly three reasons, uh, we can mention many reasons, but the way we see the, the driver for growth is threefold. So first of all, uh, there will be a, a lot of increasing exposure in Europe from the uh, retail investors to financial assets. We know that there is a regulation and a retail investment strategy that push for more investment of household in, in, in financial securities instead of cash deposit. The second element is that we see more and more uh, asset managers creating new product that fits more and more the needs for the incumbent investors, the institutions. So we strongly believe that they will keep on investing in the funds wrappers. And the third element as well is that we observe that there is more and more new entrants into the fund space, like the central banks, for instance, investing in ETF. It's a demonstration that new players will come. The neo brokers, uh, the tech platform also start offering more and more funds in their offerings. So that's for us the reason why we see strong growth uh, on the funds market. It's true that we might have some differ differentiation between the mutual funds, the ETF and the private funds, where we definitely see a strong growth on ETF and on private funds and a bit more uh, slow growth on, on the mutual fund. But definitely for the three asset class, uh, the future is uh, remain quite bright. So opportunities there, but as you just described, there, there will be differentiating factors. What do you think those will be in terms of where you'll see asset managers being successful? Yeah, so as mentioned, an asset manager to be more and more relevant in the world of change that we are uh, facing for the moment, uh, will be to be diversified. I think we see uh, a lot of growing demand from ETF and from, uh, from private funds. So we truly believe that if an asset manager wants to remain relevant in the competitive landscape, project diversification will be key. Then after, in a world when globalization is there, eh, where we have growing demand from the Middle East, from, uh, from Asia, it will be important that asset manager also uh, expand the distribution uh, reach. And last but not least, probably in the context of being competitive, reducing the overall cost of investment, leveraging the benefit of technology will be, will be important. Yeah, I mean, it would be remiss for me not to touch on that. Digitization and new technologies are, are going to play a key role, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, and uh, there is a lot of discussion within the industry uh, if uh, it, will bring it will bring a revolution or it, it will bring an evolution. On our side, we rather believe that uh, technology should be used to really bring evolutive uh, improvement. And we talk a lot about uh, uh, AI, uh, digitalization and DLT to a certain extent. I think that um, the industry should embrace those three elements, but in a gradual phase. We don't believe in the full revolution that you will have a new distribution model uh, in, the, in the very short term, but definitely all of us within the industry need to bring a bit more uh, of the benefit that the technology can bring on the efficiencies. So with all of that in mind, just finally, what can Euroclear bring in, in this sort of environment to that whole funds ecosystem? Yeah, so it's a combination of all what I have said. Huh? So Euroclear funds place is a funds platform offering access, distribution and data on the three asset class. So as I mentioned, for the asset manager diversification on the three product mutual funds, ETF and uh, private assets, it's key. And this is what now we are capable to offer uh, 
on Stone's Play. So for the asset manager, we offer uh, a way to distribute the three funds across the world. Then for the investors, the distributors, we have mean to um, uh, give them a, a single access to a wide range of funds, a wide range of funds in a fully automated and efficient way as a very good, good price. And the last players that I want to mention in our ecosystem is all the fund admin and the transfer agent, which are key in the ecosystem. And for those players as a platform, we support to centralize flows and ease the investor onboarding, which remain a kind of pain point into uh, our industry. So that is in a, in a nutshell what we uh, believe the industry will evolve and what we can offer to the industry. Lots of work to be done. Vincent, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts today. Thanks, Great to talk to you. Pleasure.